Daylight Saving Time Meet Maya. The second Sunday of March is approaching and she keeps thinking about the clocks being moved on that day. She doesn't quite understand the process and the reasons as to why we spring forward and fall backward, a few months later. She goes to the library to learn more about it. Maya finds out that the idea of moving time is less recent than she thought. Already in the ancient civilizations this practice might have been used. Although people looked into the subject many years before, Germany was the first country to officially implement DSD turning ahead one hour on April 30, 1916 to minimize artificial lightning and save fuel for the war. Soon this idea was followed by the UK and other countries. In the US it was referred to fast time, first introduced in 1918. Undergoing different acts to counteract the confusion, the final change was renewed in the Energy Policy Act of 2005, which set the start on the second Sunday in March and the end on the first Sunday in November. A standardized EU-wide DSD schedule was set in 1996 running from the last Sunday in March to the last Sunday in October. So Maya now knows where the idea comes from but how does it work exactly? On Sunday at 2 a.m. the clock moves forward exactly one hour. Most people will be asleep and most businesses are closed, making this time suitable for the change. Maya will then have an extra hour of sunlight when she wakes up. Eight months later, the process will reverse, setting us one hour back. As summer and winter are in accordance with the hemispheres, so does DSD change its forward and reverse dates. Countries closer to the equator have less seasonal changes and no need for the process. Others are simply not participating, leaving 70 countries and 1.7 billion people to be affected.